ever struggled to figure out if something can be recycled? What if the item could tell you? So, please recycle this pack. Be good for nature. It's possible because these packages are printed with invisible digital watermarks. It means that in recycling centres like this, machines can sort items more efficiently. The cameras view them as if they're covered in barcodes, even though customers won't spot them. The idea is to make recycling less confusing at home and to improve recycling rates in factories, helping to prevent plastic from ending up in the wrong places. I've come to this rather ordinary looking warehouse in the west of Germany to see a new technology that is being trialled that could have a huge impact on recycling. This is a test facility run by global recycling firm Tomra. Rubbish here is being sent around in a continuous loop to try out different ways of sorting it. The new tech being tested sits in that grey bar with the red light beneath it. As rubbish passes at 3 metres per second, cameras in the bar are scanning and identifying each item. They capture images at 150 frames per second. The cameras are hunting for hidden codes on the packaging. These codes are created by subtle changes to the pixels on the packaging's artwork to do with contrast, which the naked eye will not notice. This information, like a QR code tile, is repeated around the package. For the cameras in the factory, the code performs like this, even though to us it looks like this. The same code can be embossed in plastic. I've come to meet the man leading the development of the technology in the trial to find out why he thinks this could change the way we think about recycling. The barcode technology allows accurate identification of uh, every package. So that then allows the industry to address some of the biggest problems uh, they are facing. The idea is that this kind of intelligent packaging with disguised codes printed all over them will be easier to scan, so machines can easily identify each item, whatever position they are in, unlike a traditional single barcode. A database tells the sorting machine what the package is made of. In this case, air jets can then sort the waste packaging by blowing it in different directions. The performance that we are seeing is detection in the high 90% range, which is excellent for this type of sorting. So what will this technology allow you to do that you couldn't do before? Distinguishing food grade plastics from non-food grade plastics so that the right kind of plastic can be reused to manufacture new items. Recycling becomes more efficient if food grade items, such as lemonade bottles, can be separated from non-food grade items like laundry detergent bottles. This system can also deal with black and multi-layered packaging, which is often a challenge. The same technology could make self-checkouts faster at supermarkets. It could also help people sort their recycling at home with information provided on an app. Early prototypes turn this into an interactive experience. Have you already enjoyed all its features? But will this technology ever be actually used? More than 20 big brands are involved in the project, which is called Holy Grail. Brands include Nestle, PepsiCo and Danone. I went to meet another of the big players at a conference in London. So we have to collectively work on this. Um, not as competitors, but we all have to work together in order to realize higher recycling rates for packaging in Europe. The project is called Holy Grail, but is the real Holy Grail just to get people to reuse packaging a lot more? I think um, for both of these systems, either reusable um, or recyclable packaging, uh, it's going to be very important that we have things like a digital watermark integrated because it can help us through the full life cycle of packaging what we call from birth to rebirth, right? So I think this is a technology you can implement both on recyclable packaging, but also reusable packaging. The pilot in the test center in Germany proves the technology works. In 2020, the tech will be installed in a working waste sorting plant. Then in 2021, the technology will be used live in a European country. So it could be your waste spotted on camera. <laughs>